Hi everyone. I would like to welcome all of you to today's class. In this class, I am going to discuss about how to simplify the complex circuits. Okay. So here uh, we have to calculate the effective capacitance between the points A and B. Okay. Look at this circuit. Actually. This part is just looking like a wheat stunts network. First, we have to simplify this part here. Actually, it is in the form of wheat stunts network. So, what is the balancing condition of wheat stunts network? That is P by Q is equal to R by S. So, actually, here this is P. This one is Q, this one is R, this one is S. All values are equal here. So P by C is equal to C by C. That means this is a balanced wheat stunts network. So if the wheat stunts network is balanced, the current flowing through this R that is equal to zero. That means this is the meaningless R. While simplifying the circuit, uh, we should not consider this R. So after that, C, C, both are connected in series, right? And C, C, both are connected in series. So here is also, this is also in the form of wheat stunts network. Again, it is balanced wheat stunts network. Uh, current flowing through this form is zero. We should not consider this R. Right? So again, CC connected in series, CC connected in series. So if two capacitors are connected in series, what is the effective capacity? The formula is 1 by CS is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. So here, C1, C2, both are equal to C. So 1 by Cs is equal to 1 by C plus 1 by C. So that is 2 by C. So Cs value is C by 2. Right? So if two identical capacitors, C, C, both are connected in series, the effective capacity is C by 2. Okay. And this is also C by 2. This one is also C by 2. This one is also C by 2. Okay. Now C by 2, C by 2, C, C by 2, C by 2. All are connected in parallel. So if the number of capacitors are connected in parallel, the effective capacity is C1 plus C2 plus C3 plus so on. So here Cp value that is equal to C by 2 plus C by 2 plus C plus C by 2 plus C by 2. Right? C by 2 plus C by 2 is C. Right? C by 2 plus C by 2 that is C. So finally we will get 3C. So the effective capacity between the points A and B is 3C. The right answer is option C, that is 3C. 